Hi guys, welcome back. As promised, today I will be teaching you how to make your very own professional CV. Yes, that's right, your very own professional CV. Okay, we will start off with a blank page. This will be on Microsoft Word. At the moment, I'm using Microsoft Word 2016, but you can use any Microsoft that you have available to you. Okay, first you'll decide how many pages your professional CV will need. In this case, I will be using two pages. Um, in normal circumstances, a standard CV is usually between two and five pages, unless it's a personal profile, then it could be up to one page. Um, in this case, we will be using two, two pages. So what we will start doing is we will um, press the enter button, okay? We'll take your cursor onto the next page. So enter until you get to a new page. So in total, you're going to have two pages, okay? As you can see, that's my second page at the bottom. Okay, we're going to start on your first page. On the very top of your page, you will be inserting a column. Okay, so on your toolbar, you've got file, home, home. We will go on the insert button and then you will look along the toolbar and you will come to the, to the option where it states insert text box, where it shows the text box. You will click on the arrow on the down, down button. And it will give you the option of either putting in a simple text box that's already provided to you by Microsoft, or if you're going to draw your own. We will choose, choose the option of drawing our own text box. Okay. You will see where the cursor is reflecting now, the, the, uh, the cross. You will then draw your text box on the top of your page. The reason we are doing this is that professional CVs, we try and make them very attractive. Your normal black and white CV is usually unattractive and it's not appealing to your recruiter. In most cases, recruiters don't spend that much time on a CV that's not very attractive. As compared to a CV that is attractive, where they'll spend more time because it's more vibrant and appealing to them. That's the main reason why you should. It does also show that you are interested in your career and that you are interested in the position that you're applying for because you're using this a professional CV. Your normal black and white CV comes across as very boring, standardized, simple, easy. It doesn't show that you've put much work into the position you're applying for or into your CV. Okay, once you have your text box at the top of your screen, you will then, where you can see the double, double arrow, you will then right click and a drop down will come Will, will, will reflect. You will go down, down the page to where it states format shape. Now we're going to be formatting the shape. We're going to be making it a color and we're also going to be inserting, uh, choosing a color that's very, very uh, dark or, or, or alive that will bring out your CV. Okay. In this case, we're going to choose format. On the right hand side, you'll get a list of whether you're filling in the shape or the text, or the design. In this case, we're filling in the shape. So we're going to be filling in the color. You'll have the option of whether you want to be clear, no, without a filling, a gradient filling. We're going to choose the solid fill. Okay. Color at the moment is white, as you can see. We're going to be choosing a dark gray. Okay. When it comes to your second option, that's the line. That means the outline of your box. In this case, we're not going to use a line, so we'll be choosing the no line option. Okay, you'll be doing that at the bottom of your page as well. You'll be doing that, follow the exact same steps that I taught you, inserting a text box. Okay. So we'll be inserting another text box at the bottom of the page as well. Exact same way you did on the top of the page, we're doing it at the bottom. Okay. Also, by the double arrow, you right click, go down to format shape, come across to your right hand side and choose the solid filling. We'll also go with the gray option. The lining around your text box will also state no line. You will do this on all on both pages. So they, there's a formatting and it's falling in order. They look exactly the same. Okay. You'll draw your text box again on your second page. 
When you have completed the CV, you can always go and check your sizing, whether it's correct, whether it's looking appealing, um, if everything is not untidy, um, then that will all, all make sense. Okay. Right now, we will just be doing the text box. Okay, that's your first. This is your second. In this case, I'm not going to need my third page, so I'll be just deleting the third page. Okay, and I'll be inserting the text box. To delete the page, you can just backspace. It will take you up to your page that you're working on and will remove your last page. So if a third page does, um, does appear, just go onto that page and backspace until the page disappears. Okay, double arrow again. Then we will be filling that box with also dark gray with no line. Okay, this is the template that we'll be using at the moment. So if you have a look, top, bottom, gray, in color, and that goes for all of them. Okay, what we'll be doing now is you're going to be inserting your name. So the same steps that we used to insert this, this text box or this uh, column we'll be using to insert a text box. Insert another text box, the exact same way you did this. This time you'll be inserting it on top of the box that we just created. Okay, we'll go right around on each side. We'll be doing the exact same thing, formatting the shape. This time there will be no fill because you want, don't want to have any filling, so it's going to be the same color. This will en enable you to actually write on top of the column that we've just created, and there will be no line. Okay. On the left-hand corner, you will then type in your name. In this case, we will, um, we'll, uh, just an example, so I will be saying CV sample. You will then choose your color, the color that you want the wording to be. We, in this case, we'll choose white. Then you'll also choose the font. The font that I will be using today, which I think is quite um, relevant or attractive, is the Microsoft Yahi. You will also then choose the size. I think a size 16 would do perfect. Okay, that would be your CV sample. Under CV sample, you will press enter. You will then be stating the role that you are currently in, whether it's an executive manager, business developer, managing director, social worker, um, architect, etc. You will have the states underneath. In this case, what we'll be using is a, let's just choose a business analyst. Now, if you have a look, you can see it's quite untidy. What we will then do is we'll decrease the font of the, of the second line. So we'll make that font a 12. Okay, that's perfect. What we will then do, you'll highlight both. And you will click on the sizing. If you have a look, you'll, if you uh, scroll over all these fun, all the, all these these items on your toolbar, you'll see it says the line and paragraph spacing. You click on the down arrow and you will choose the one. Okay, your line spacing will be one. Then you would go to your layout on the top, on, on the top, right on the top. You'll notice layout. You click on your layout. And if you notice, it will give you the size indents and the size spacing, etc. On spacing, it needs to all be zero. So you click on the down arrow until it gets to zero. Okay. Then you'll notice it looks more, it looks much neater than what it was. In some cases, it is better to perhaps make your your second line a bit smaller. In this case, we'll make it perhaps a ten. Let's have a look. Ten. That looks quite uh, neater. To say. Once you've done that, you will then be inserting a space bar, the, or, or a line, not actually a space bar, a line, sorry, the line just under the edge so that we've done with that, okay, it gives it a, an attractive look. You can then color that line, in this case we'll do the exact same thing in the way that we format the shape of the column, you format the shape of the line, in this case there's, it's a solid line, and you'll be making that line. You can choose your color, drop down, choose your color. We'll make that white. And there you go. Okay. Once we have completed, that would be your name and your current role. You can then add in your 
address and contact details, which needs to be on the same in the same heading. Okay. On your right hand corner, you will then make another text box, just as I've showed you previously, with no filling. And no line. And then you're going to be typing in your address. In this case, we will be using, I think we shall use Latto in this case. If you do not have Latto, you could use Arial or Calibra. That will also do just fine. I'll use Latto 9. Okay. We'll put in the residential address. And you will have your address in that stated next to it, um, whichever place you're residing in, um, which could be California, Hollywood, etc. You state it there, the physical address or your residential location. Okay. You need to put it as residential address or location. Let's just put location. Okay. Then you print your address next to it. And let's just say 11 um, Canberra Canberra Avenue, um, etc. Okay, your full address will go there. Okay. Right. You'll press your enter key and on the next line, just below that, you will type in, you've done your, your location, you will then be inputting your contact number. Contact number. Contact number, will, you can either put your area code first or you can leave it as is or you can just put in the number that you've done fit. Okay, so put your contact details next there. It can be one or two space, two numbers um, separated with the forward slash. You will then press enter again and it will be your email. In this case, the email address um, will be your personal email that you'd like to get a response from if your recruiter does respond. So we'll just make up our own GHTG at uh, your, we'll say Gmail. Once you have done this, you'll notice your line spacing also in this case is incorrect. So as I taught you previously on the left hand side where we had put in the, your name and your position, we will now be going back to layout and you'll be changing the spacing as well on there. We'll be removing it so we'll make it a one spacing, I mean a zero spacing, sorry. Once you've done that, you will then notice that all of it is aligned, you can then change the coloring of the, the, the words that we've just inputted now. So I think that the best color for this option would be a blue. Let's see. Perfect. Okay. In this case, we should make that a bit smaller. So I'll go back to later with states 9. We'll make it an 8. And we, you then go on to your line spacing okay and we'll actually make that if you have a look this is your line spacing options we'll make that a 1.15 okay we'll actually let's just change that we'll, it looks but on time we'll make it a 1.5 there we go so at the moment now you've got your cv sample and you've got your residential location okay in this case I've also not, um, I just want to advise you that if you'd like to actually insert a photo, what you do is you'll just move the top column and your, and your current line, move it across just a few inches and you'll notice that you have space here. What you do here is you insert another text box. You also have no filling in that text box. So you'll go and format your shape. There'll be no full and no line. And what you will then do